Hi, everybody. This is Quint Lears with NewHomeSales.com. I'm here with Lee Silverman, and Lee is a new home sales specialist and a rising star in the new home sales business. Lee, real quick for our audience, how long have you been in new home sales? I've been in new home sales and resales for about a year and a half. Excellent. Now, tell me, and, and Lee is a licensed realtor with Steinborn and Associates Real Estate. Uh, we just finished up with the David Knox training. Lee, first, I want to ask you a question about resale versus new homes. The the big difference right off the bat. What what do you put? A uh, big difference between new home sales and uh, resale homes is. First, with the new home sales, people are, are moving right in and it's a, a lot easier transaction. Uh, with resale homes, you, you know, agents have to go through the process of inspections and getting things uh, fixed, as everybody mostly knows. But honestly, that, that kind of hinders the sale at, in some points. But that's why I like new home sales. It, it's an easier transition, especially for new home buyers or first time home buyers. Excuse me. Very, very good information. Lee, what is the biggest challenge right now? Because you're, you're the guy on the front lines. You're sitting there. You're working with the realtors, with the buyers, trying to promote your project. What's the biggest challenge you see right now? You know, I have a big project and uh, promoting my area and getting people educated on the the area and the homes. Uh, as soon as I've been doing that, I, the sales have been uh, starting to uh, come up and everything's been uh, going very well. I'm really glad Lee said that, and I'll tell you why. Uh, a lot of even new home salespeople don't realize that their communities may not exist on Google Maps or Zillow or Trulia. So you, Lee just made a really good point. I want everybody to follow that if you're sitting in the front lines, you got to get that information on directions on how to get to the community. Is that right? Mm -hmm. uh, definitely. Uh, I even did flyers for real estate agents who didn't even have an idea of uh, mostly where my area was at, and that's really my my individuals who I'm selling to. So if they don't know where it is, how are uh, consumers going to find it? So educating both sides. I want you to re that what he just said. I, I just as a new home professional as well. That is huge, and it's great that you know that right off the bat. Um, tell me, tell me just a fun experience that you've had selling new homes. Just just something that's been one of your. You think about it, it makes you smile. Well, uh, going through the building process was uh, at first a little intimidating. First, because you have so many different uh, situations that can arise with new home buyers. And uh, it's just when I got that first home sold, Quint, and it, you know, broke ground and going through all the permitting process and the people moving into the home, it was just, uh, in a sense, just a whole bunch of fun. And just doing the whole process is great. And I like the fact that doing resale, you know, that's done one and done in 45 days or approximately, but going through five and six months with somebody, that's the best thing. And really going all the way. That's another really big point is that you're um, spending a lot more time with people. Would you agree with that new home sales versus the resale? Um, now that you've, you know, you've been on the front lines, you've been doing it for a little bit, what advice would you have now that you're, you're uh, a little bit into the business for, for even newer people than you? What, what advice would you have um, right now, like, what, what, if you talked to yourself a year ago and said, "Lee, do this," what, what what advice would you give yourself? Man, that's a good question. And still, I have a lot to learn because there is a lot of things I should be doing, and I I have them all in my head, and I need to get them out there. But uh, definitely, video. I I would do a lot of commercial based uh, marketing to the community. Uh, a lot of uh, electronic billboard. I think I need to get that, even if it's small, but it's it's trying to get to the community. Also, I'd like to do big picture type stuff, like on the movie screen. You know, just getting edu getting people educated about the area. That's the first step. And honestly, once you get them down there, you have a uh, at least 50-50 shot of getting them into a new home. So. Um. I always ask this question, why do you do it? I mean, we know what you do, you're getting videos, you're getting people out there, but why? I mean, what, what gets you out of the morning, it, it gets you out of the bed? You know, I know you got to pop in your step, you're always training. Um, you were here at the training today with David Knox and with Steinborn and Associates. Why keep training? Why push yourself so hard? You know, Quint, when I was in the Army, just like you were in the military, I, uh, I loved working constantly and hard. And in this business, I have felt like I'm in the same place. I get to constantly work, uh, achieve, uh, learn, and I get different avenues. Like you're doing new home sales, but I get resales, I get investors, 
I get all types of different things, and that is what is making uh, this job great. Yeah, yeah, the money's good, but the excitement of uh, making people happy and getting them into something special that they really want is why I do it. Yeah. What builder do you represent? I represent Morningstar Homes out in the South Valley here in Las Cruces, New Mexico, and we got great properties situated in a beautiful pecan orchard and got tons of homes ready to go and tons of homes ready to build. So, hey, we're proud to have you. Um, we like featuring the, the trainers, the, the leaders, the managers, but I, I really like having the, the frontline new home salespeople. That's what gets me excited. And uh, you're the guy making it happen. What did you think about the training today with David Knox and Steinborn and Associates Real Estate? Uh, it was fantastic. More on the resale side, uh, conducting listings, getting past buyers, and getting into getting more business by listings. And I, I've actually watched probably about 30 videos that he's done from this training session. So I actually am already implementing a lot of it, which is uh, shown in my business. Uh, and I've been doing pretty well this year, so I'm pretty happy. I love the training. How many? How many? It's hilarious. How many families have you helped this year? <laughs> I've helped uh, approximately about 28 families so far. And 28. And wait, what month are we in? We're in May. Keep your eyes on this guy. This is the guy you want to watch. So, uh, Mr. Lee Silverman, thank you so much. Uh, pleasure knowing you, and, and and appreciate your work ethic and all you do. And I also want to thank you for your service in the uh, U.S. United States Army. He's one of the, the true guys that's been out there on the on the literal front lines. We talk about the front lines of new home sales, but this guy's uh, been on the, the actual front lines. I want to appreciate you for, for everything you do. Thanks, Quine. Appreciate it. Thank you.